Since World War II, the dollar has enjoyed the status of the world's reference currency and the United States has taken great advantage of it to become the superpower it is today. But its reign is being challenged with the rise of China as a global economic power and the emergence of new financial technologies. The dollar's position as the main reserve currency is being questioned and threatened. Many countries have negotiated to try to topple the dollar's power. In this video, we will explore how new forms of transactions, along with the rise of the Chinese Yuan, are affecting the dollar and what this could mean for the United States and the global economy. Are we really witnessing the end of the dollar's hegemony and what are the consequences for the American and global economy? Let's find out together. The history of currency is one of the most fascinating in human history, as it is directly linked to the evolution of society and how people organize their economic activities. Since ancient times, coins have been used as a medium of exchange, a unit of value measurement, and a store of value. Before actual coins existed, humanity made transactions with any kind of exchange, from wheat to even gold. This economic system became known as barter. The first reported coins appeared in ancient Greece, around the 7th century BC. They were made of precious metals such as gold and silver and had irregular shapes. Over time, coins were improved, gaining standardized shapes and weights, which facilitated their use in trade. During the Middle Ages, coins continued to be used, but their issuance was the responsibility of kings and local authorities. Over time, paper money emerged, which further facilitated commercial transactions. In the 20th century, with the advancement of technology, electronic currency began to gain space, revolutionizing the financial market. The first form of electronic currency appeared in the 1960s when banks began using electronic systems to transfer funds between accounts. Nowadays, financial transactions can be done quickly and safely thanks to new technologies. However, over time, one currency gained so much strength that it became the main international reserve currency. And it is widely accepted worldwide as a means of payment. This currency is the dollar, which had its position as the world's main currency established after World War II, when the United States emerged as the world's main economic and military power. Before World War II, the US dollar had already become the main international reserve currency, with foreign central bank reserves consisting mainly of dollars and gold. However, the war caused a change in global dynamics, with the US economy growing rapidly, while European and Japanese economies were in ruins. In 1944, representatives from 44 countries met in the city of Bretton Woods, in the United States, to discuss the creation of an international monetary system that could promote economic stability. The participants agreed to create the International Monetary Fund IMF, and the International Bank for Reconstruction and Development, known as the World Bank. They also established the fixed exchange rate system, with the US dollar as the reference currency. The Bretton Woods monetary system lasted until 1971, when the United States abandoned the convertibility of the dollar into gold, due to growing inflationary pressure and trade deficits. This led to a devaluation of the dollar relative to other currencies, which led to a series of agreements between IMF member countries to adjust their exchange rates in relation to the dollar and avoid excessive fluctuations. Since then, the dollar has become the main international reserve currency, with about two-thirds of the world's reserves being composed of dollars. It is widely used in international transactions, including trade, finance, investments, and as the currency in which most commodities, such as oil and gold, are traded. The dollar's position as the main international reserve currency is reinforced by the strength of the United States economy and the country's political and economic stability. In addition, the dollar has always been seen as a safe and reliable reserve currency compared to other currencies that may be more volatile and less predictable. In 2020, the value of notes and coins in circulation in the United States was about $2.5 trillion, 
while the value of international dollar reserves was about $6.6 .6 trillion. This shows the continued importance of the dollar as a means of payment and store of value worldwide. However, despite the predominance of the dollar, there are signs that other currencies, such as the Chinese Yuan, are gaining importance in the global scenario. China is now the world's second largest economy and has a strong currency. Additionally, the Chinese government has been promoting the use of the yuan in international transactions, offering incentives for foreign companies and governments to use the currency instead of the dollar. Although many analysts do not believe that the dollar will lose its position as the world's main currency in the short term, it is possible that other currencies will gain importance in the coming years. The growing importance of the Chinese yuan is a sign that the financial world is changing, and the dollar may face greater competition in the future. Before continuing the video, I want to ask you who likes the channel a small favor. I noticed that our video deliveries have recently dropped, and although YouTube is undergoing a reformulation, the feeling is that this is not the only reason for the drop. As a content consumer, you are not obligated to know about the mechanics of the platform, but if you want to help our channel, pay attention to this information. Your like is worth a lot. Your dislike however, doesn't say anything about the video but rather about what you like to watch and the topics you are interested about. Therefore, if you don't like a topic or video here on the channel, never leave a dislike. By doing so, YouTube will end up understanding what you don't like about the channel and will stop notifying you about new videos that may please you. If you liked the video, please like it and leave brief comment on what you liked. If the topic doesn't appeal to you, leave a comment saying what you didn't like and suggesting a topic that you would like more and use the hashtag constructive criticism. In this way, I will produce content based on your preferences, making the channel very personalized to your taste. If you're not used to commenting, it's also possible not to receive notifications, even if you're subscribed and have the bell activated. Speaking of which, check your subscription and also see if the bell is activated, and leave that like too. This helps us a lot, and it doesn't cost you anything. Thank you very much, and now let's get back to the video. In recent years, the Chinese Yuan has gained importance in the global scenario. This has affected the value of the US dollar. The Chinese government has been promoting the use of the Yuan in international transactions and offering incentives for foreign companies and governments to use the currency instead of the dollar. This strategy is part of the Chinese government's efforts to increase the country's influence in the global scenario and reduce its dependence on the dollar. One of the main ways in which this is affecting the dollar is through the shifting economic balance of power. China is now the world's second largest economy, and its growing economic influence is leading to an increase in international use. This means that fewer transactions are being made in dollars, which can lead to a reduction in demand for the American currency and, therefore, a decrease in its value. According to the International Monetary Fund, the Chinese economy grew at an average annual rate of 9.6% between 2000 and 2020, while the U.S. economy grew at an average annual rate of 1.6% in the same period. This means that the Chinese economy is growing faster than the American economy and may eventually surpass it in size. Some predictions suggest that China could overtake the U.S. in the economy by 2030 based on current economic trends. Additionally, China is investing heavily in infrastructure worldwide, especially in developing countries. Many of these projects are funded in yuan, which means that demand for the currency is increasing. This can lead to an increase in the value of the yuan compared to the dollar, which can affect the competitiveness of American products in the international market. However, it is important to note that the shift in economic balance of power is not the only reason why this is affecting the dollar. The Chinese government has also taken measures to strengthen its currency and make it more attractive to foreign investors. For example, China has gradually reduced restrictions on foreign trade and has promoted the use of the currency in bilateral trade agreements, which may further imply a decrease in the value of the dollar. 
In the face of the global market since 2009, with the creation of Bitcoin, humanity has changed its way of looking at currencies, and over time, has been changing the future of cryptocurrencies even more. At some point, there are many signs that suggest that they may continue to grow in popularity, eventually challenging the dominance of government currencies such as the US dollar. One of the main reasons for this is that cryptocurrencies are decentralized and not controlled by any government or central financial institution. This means that they are less susceptible to economic and political fluctuations than traditional currencies. Cryptocurrencies are also extremely secure and transparent, which is a great attraction for many investors. The technology that underpins cryptocurrencies allows all transactions to be publicly and immutably recorded, making transactions more secure and reducing the risk of fraud. In addition, experts believe that cryptocurrencies have the potential to revolutionize the global financial system, allowing for faster and cheaper international transactions and reducing the need for financial intermediaries such as banks, companies, and credit cards. All of this suggests that cryptocurrencies have a promising future, but there are also challenges to be faced. One of the biggest concerns is the lack of regulation around cryptocurrencies, which can lead to fraud and illegal activities. In addition, cryptocurrencies are highly volatile, which means that their values can fluctuate very quickly, making them less attractive to conservative investors. However, as cryptocurrencies become more popular and their technology develops, it is possible that they will be integrated into the global financial system in ways that were not previously imagined. This could include the creation of digital currencies and measures by governments, which could lead to a shift in the balance of power of traditional currencies such as the dollar. There are already signs that governments are beginning to explore the idea of creating their own digital currencies. For example, China has already launched a test of its own digital currency, and other countries such as Sweden, Canada, and the UK are considering the idea of creating their own digital currencies. But what do you think? Will the Chinese economy crush the dollar or, worse, will cryptocurrencies destroy the world's traditional currencies? Leave your opinion in the comments. The truth is that China is rapidly moving towards becoming the world's largest power. Some studies suggest that the country will reach this position around the year 2033. To achieve this, the country has been using increasingly strategies to spread its companies around the world. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. See you soon.